So what do you get inside of this $2,000 NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090? And will it be $2,000 when it's on shelves? When you remove these, you then have the opportunity to open it up. And here is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090. However, inside of the box that it was actually shipped in contains the accessories. Well, one accessory, basically. This power adapter has eight PCIe 8 pins that goes to one 16 pin. And on the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 Super, the pin is straight out. But on the 5090, it's actually at an angle. A new addition to the RTX 5090 are these three DisplayPort 2.1Bs. These are ultra high bitrate 20s at 80 gigabit per second speeds. So if you want that 4K 240 hertz goodness, you actually may need to buy a new cable. So if you're considering getting an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090, if you can find one on launch, keep in mind you may need a brand new cable, and I highly recommend at least a 1000 watt 80 plus gold power supply. Sure, it's slim, but it's incredibly powerful. We have so much more to cover on the 5090, so like and follow for more.